With the most recent release of iOS 16, Apple Pay is now basically available on Google Chrome. It used to be, if you're not in an application run or served by Google App Store, uh, Apple Pay would only work on Safari. Uh, and with the, the percentages of people on your website, using Safari is usually very low. So Apple Pay was never, obviously it, it helps to, to be there, you might as well have it. Um, but now that it works on Google Chrome and Chromium devices, uh, when you're on iOS 16, it is now gonna be much more prevalent on your website. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to, well, in two different aspects, two different segments. If you're an existing customer of Trust Payments, that is the company that we're gonna be using today to show you how to add uh, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and take all different types of cards um, from your WooCommerce website. So if you're an existing customer with them, you can skip forward. You'll see the chapters at the bottom of the screen uh, or in the timeline. Uh, but first of all, we're gonna show uh, people who are not currently with Trust Payments how to get set up, add the, the plugin to their website, few, uh, a few details to their plugin to obviously make sure the money goes directly to you uh, and testing and stuff like that. Uh, followed by how I make this plugin look a lot better and much more uh, clickable for your, your audience because uh, from the outset, it's pretty basic. So stick around to the end of the video. There'll be a wee section, maybe for a minute or two, showing uh, the, inc or the, the best practices that I go through to make sure it looks great. Okay, so for new customers of Trust Payments, just to give you a bit of background on who Trust Payments is, Trust Payments is quite a large uh, payment processing company and also payment merchant. So what they can give you is an account that you can take payments. Uh, in, in this case, I don't know if you follow this channel or not, or maybe you've just came here <laughs> randomly. Uh, but what I special in, uh, specialize in is uh, competition websites, raffle websites in the UK, all across the world. Uh, and Basically, they need a certain type of gateway, and the same goes for uh, CBD, sales, or loads of other industries where the likes of Stripe and all the rest of them don't really like or don't get involved without a, a big push or any push at all, to be honest. Uh, so what tr Trust Payments uh, specialize in is high, uh, well, what they call high-risk payments. And all that really means is that you need to just get involved with them, fill in a form, they do a few checks with what your business uh, runs on and then pretty much off you go. Uh, it's just a, a different way of doing things. The good news in is very, very easy to get set up and started. So this is the competition website that is on my channel. If you are even looking in or in the market for a competition website, you can build this yourself uh, for only a couple hundred quid. It really, really is a great way to get started. So the first link in the description is going to link to this page, which is going to be adding Apple Pay and Google Pay to your all and all car types to your WooCommerce website. So all you have to do is see where it says new customers or you're an existing customer. Obviously you're a new customer. Just put your full name, your email, your telephone number and your website that you're going to be adding this um, uh, plugin to. That'll send an email that's worded directly to a guy called Adam, or not Adam, sorry, Andrew, in Trust Payments, and he'll get in touch direct or straight with you and help you get set up. The good thing about this is these people want, obviously, you to take payments on um, your website for them. It, it earns them money, it earns you money, everybody's happy. So these guys will help you get set up and also have great support. So once you're through this section, I know this might take quite a while and you'll come back to this video, uh, Basically, what we're gonna do is go back to the homepage or to your website and then go to, hopefully you know all about this, so the plugin section, and then all we're gonna do is put in TRU, TRU forward slash forward slash ST. I don't know why they put this. It's obviously they're, they're trying to put their logo in here, but basically it's trust payments, last updated six days ago so they they're currently working on this quite heavily so it's great that you'll all, you'll get the the latest features I'm just gonna click on install now and then activate now you'll see a few things in uh where is it the settings so you can click see where it says trust payments gateway for woocommerce you won't need this uh, obviously, if you are a new customer, um, you might have had this if you're an existing customer. It's their other gateway plugin. So you'll not need this. So where it says settings, or you can go to WooCommerce settings payments and then click into the trust payments section. It's currently disabled. 
uh, but we can update all this information here. It's what's uh, shown on the checkout page. So I'm going to take a moment and fill these uh, all this in, all this information in, and then talk you through exactly how I've done it, uh, just so it means that you don't have any um, ifs or buts of basically what's going on here. So I'll go ahead and change all these. So this is what I like to fill in, uh, and then I'll come back. Okay, now you've been in contact with Trust Payments and got all the details that you need to set up your gateway on your website. You come back to this section, which is in Payments and Trust Payments. Uh, we don't have to enable this for now. Obviously, we're setting this up. So once we're happy with all the information in here, we'll click on Enable. Or what I like to do is go into Payments and, and change it there. So what I like to do is, is make uh, the title Secure Payments. And because we're going to be dealing with Apple Pay and Google Pay, I want my customers to know exactly what they're going to get when they're going to click this. So I say, now pay with card, Apple Pay or Google Pay. Uh, site reference, Trust Payments will have given you this. I add this in here, you'll have probably two site references. One being test underscore, then your site reference. Uh, and then one without test in front of it means that it's obviously the live one where real payments will be taken. Platform is going to be European platform. Next, it's gonna be payment choice page, enable it. Uh, disable iframe. If you use iframe, it means that Apple and Google Pay won't be available, so we need to disable that. We can skip the next two, because obviously we're not using iframe. Enable back, op back office operations, which is basically like refunds and that kind of thing, if you need to deal with them. Uh, again, um, trust payments will have sent you, or if you requested, uh, well, usually they send you these, but sometimes you need to request them from support at trustpayments.com. That's their email address. Uh, your web services username and password, enter them in here. Enable site security. So because we're gonna be redirecting off to their servers, their hosted payment page, we're gonna need a security password that they also have. So when the customer gets redirected over that nothing gets changed in between and you're paid the correct amount of money. Next, so this is obviously supplied by their support as well. So uh, ST profile, just leave as default. Then ST default uh, profile, <clears throat> this cleans up the page slightly. So if you put in ST underscore pay payment card only, it means that everything on the uh, hosted payment gateway side of things is all cleaned up and it just doesn't give your customer the ability to add like um, the billing address and that kind of thing you don't because you don't need because it comes from WooCommerce itself. We need to enable 3D Secure because that's pretty much all cards these days require that. So that's fine. Uh, enable Save Cards. It might be on Disabled, but just enable that because you'll want customers to be able to check out as easy as possible. Uh, Trust Payments will all also give you a JWT username. Just put that in there. It'll be quite long, and then the JWT secret, another quite long bit of information, put it in here. Test mode, if you are testing this, which we probably will at the very start, you can click on enable, but if you have test mode enabled, make sure that your site reference up here will begin with test, so it looks something just like this, and then it'll be with numbers kind of after it. Um, so just make sure that if this is enabled, test mode, that your test reference is in here. You should be able to use the same web services, username, password um, with your test and, and uh, yeah, with your test reference and your live reference. So once you've uh, tested, tested basically means that you'll be re redirected to the payment gateway side of things and you'll be able to use a test card. So the trust payments test card I'll put this in. I'll put, I'll put this link in the description. So if I go here, so on trustpayments.com, you'll see that they're testing cards. I usually just use this one here. So it's like four loads of zeros. Then the the last four is two seven zero one. It means that you're able to, able to put a transaction through uh, like it was a real one, but no money is actually taken anywhere. Uh, it's just a good way of testing your gateway. Okay, so we'll go back here. So once once that's tested, I'm gonna show you a live version as well, because I wanna show you what the Google and Apple Pay actually look like uh, on your browser. So I'll update this uh, information here, enable it, um, and I'll show you when I enable it as well, because it's obviously good to see that, uh, and we'll go ahead and put a test payment through. 
Okay, now I've entered in my details uh, into the, the plugin. What I like to do is take this and drag this all the way to the top. And then where it says enabled, I can click on there. And then I like to save changes just to make sure that everything is set up and done. Now, if we go to the store, we can do a test payment. We'll go ahead and we'll go to, let's just say for this competition, obviously your site could be anything, but as long as it's WooCommerce, uh, everything will be fine. So we'll add a ticket to our account, proceed to checkout. And you'll see now where it says secure payments that we entered the title in earlier. And now pay with card, Apple Pay and Google Pay. You can save the card payments to your account for future use. Uh, and you can obviously, this is just default behavior uh, with WooCommerce. So I'm going to enter in my details. Just test, test, I think is the best way to go about it. All right, so now that we've entered in all our details, we can click on place order. And what this will do is redirect us to the trust payments payment page. And it will give us lots of different options. So straight away, we'll get Google Pay because I've got this set up in um, Google Chrome and any of the cards that you can pretty much under the sun, including VPay as well, if you have that set up. That being said, obviously they're in this uh, scenario using a laptop, uh, Apple Pay isn't available just yet. But the good news is that pretty much 95 plus percent of your um, users are going to be using their mobile phone. So if I show you my phone now, I'm going to make this full screen. Okay, you can now see that Apple Pay and uh, GPay are not available. If I can click, you can kind of see how things work and everything works fine and then once that's through you can probably barely hear me <laughs> once that's through uh, it'll redirect you back to your WooCommerce website and then the, that's the payment pretty much over all right so any more questions please leave them in the comments but next I'm going to do it for existing customers Okay, that's the new customers done so now it's on to the existing trust payments customers uh, so what you can do because we can reuse a lot of the details that you'll have used to use the um, the 3D Secure version 2 plugin, probably something along the lines of this. If I go to this website, add a ticket, obviously using the, the, the payment plugin or the DIY um, raffle website that we've built. So there it is. You've probably seen this before where you can add your card date, uh, details all on the website. But using um, Google Payments and Apple Payments, they run through a lot more stricter way. So it's it's hard, extremely hard to actually embed those buttons on a website currently. That'll obviously be coming in the future, uh, but it is a pretty relatively new technology and a lot of people are starting to use it more and more and more. Um, so the good news is we can add it in a, in a slightly different way where it's like Apple Card and Pay, where basically you can uh, get redirected off to trust payment servers finish the, the the payments there uh, and basically start very simply. So let's get going and stop the waffle. <laughs> I'm very good at that. Right, so I've set up a form that uh, curates an email, sends it to them with all the information that they need to upgrade your account to this status. So this is the first link in the description, which is the Apple Pay, Google Pay form. Go to existing customers, it'll say new here. Click on existing customers. Uh, put in your name, your company name, your trust payment site reference, uh, your website URL, your email, and any kind of optional message you might want to send to trust payment support. Because this is ultimately where this email goes. It just gives it just gives them all the information uh, they need to make this change in your account. You will hopefully get an email back from them directly to your email. So whatever email you put in here, make sure you're looking at it or else these things won't happen. Once you get that email back saying, yes, here's your site security key and everything's been enabled for you, happy days. Go back to your website and log into your admin side of things. Actually, this website. We are finished with that one now. Head down to plugins and add new. And in the search box, top right, type in tru forward slash forward slash st. I do not know why they have <laughs> named it like this. It's the worst naming, but basically it's T-R-U-S-T, so Trust Payments Gateway for WooCommerce. 
uh, install. I've already done that because of the pr previous section of this video. Um, and then enable it. Once it's enabled, you can go to your WooCommerce settings. In here where it says payments, I can then see that the credit card trust payments, secure payments, is now on our website. It'll not be enabled yet for you because I've just done this in another part of the video. I'm going to disable it for now and then manage this um, this plugin. So, okay, these are the settings that I use on my um, payment gateway. So, I changed the title to Secure Payments. Now pay with card, Apple Pay and Google Pay. And that's just the description you see when you uh, see it on the checkout. The site reference is obviously going to be the site reference you uh, use with uh, Trust Payments. Next, you're going to use your payment platform. You're going to enable the payment choice. Disable the iframe. Disabling the iframe means you can uh, basically use Apple Pay, Google Pay, that kind of thing. We can ignore these two. Uh, we can perform back office operations. That means like refunds, that kind of thing. Uh, Re-add your uh, web services username and password if they give you a new one or from the other plugin um, on your website. You might have a record of what they are. Uh, they'll also send you a enable site security, which is here. Uh, and the password. So in this password, that makes sure that everything's secure going to and from your website, meaning that you're going to get paid the right amount of money and nobody's going to kind of uh, be able to hack in between. Next, I like to add where it says ST default profile. This is what I like to add, which is ST underscore payment card only. It means it takes away all the billing information, such as address, uh, because that's already entered at the checkout stage. So there's no point in double working. Uh, enable 3D Secure as, as always. Um, cards pretty much just won't work if you don't enable 3D Secure these days. Uh, save cards, yes, make sure that's enabled because it's a great uh, way of getting other or repeat customers be able to check out very fast. Next is going to be web service username and secret, uh, the JWT version of that. So in here, put the username and then secret. That will be your information. Test mode, I pretty much disable this straight away if you're um, an existing customer and you know what it looks like. Uh, if you do have any problems when it comes to redirecting to the checkout, then I would get in touch with support at uh, trustpayments.com. Uh, and then mode of payment, no, and then settle due process immediately. And then you'll click save changes. Now, when you're happy with all the save changes, you can either go back to the settings and then payments. What I like to do is actually drag this right to the top of the list here and then click on enable and then save changes down here. So when they're enabled, we can go back to the website and see what that looks like. And go to the Porsche, add a ticket, go to checkout and you'll see all the information for my account is here. Uh, I'm going to show you, just like in the Price Guys site there, how to add a picture to the section that's showing all the different card types that you can take. Uh, and I just think it really tarts up that area, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Uh, you can then click on Place Order. But because I'm on um, because I'm on a laptop, it's only going to give me GPay. So if I click on this, you'll see, uh, once it redirects, GPay. But if I show you my phone... Chip, click on to phone. Apple Pay is now available, so you can choose the, to check out via that method. Once that person decides to check out, it'll be no different to how the rest of the website works or how a usual payment works for trust payments. You get redirected back to your site, show the ticket numbers if you're running a Rafa website or whatever website you're running. Uh, right, okay, so I think you might agree. On the checkout page for this, uh, for the WooCommerce section for Apple Pay and Google Pay, it's really not that attractive at all. It's very, very basic. Uh, it may work great, but to be honest with you, from a customer standpoint, you want to get them to exactly what's happening with a glance of the eye. So the best way we can do it is add in a picture here where it says Apple and Google Pay and display the Apple and Google Pay Visa card um, logos. So what we're going to do is head to the section within WooCommerce where we have been updating. 
where it says payments go directly in here and in this section I'm gonna actually copy and I'm gonna put this in the link below uh, there's gonna be one where it's gonna be the options here so this is the image I'm going to display so what you're gonna do is right click and save save that image and before we actually do this we're gonna to go to media library so we can head over there upload so we have this picture on your own server that'll give you a link and I'm actually going to start, so you might be able to see this a bit better because we're going to do a slight bit of coding here, but it's not too much. You really don't have to worry. So this is the link that directly corresponds to this image now that you've uploaded it to your website. So copy after me. <laughs> so uh, left arrow or whatever it's called, IMG SRC for source equals and then we're going to open up um two commas or whatever they're called and then close them just like this and then what we're going to do is basically copy that uh picture into there into the source section I'm going to delete that so this is what it should look like and all we're going to do is copy that that is basically going to display an image in html right into your gateway so see where it says after google pay we can copy it or paste it in here and you'll see that if i go through you'll see that it has the domain name and then go to the bottom and click on save okay once it's saved just head on back to the checkout and hopefully you'll see that now we have a lovely image there that gives the customers more information straight away about what they're going to expect on the next page if they place order uh, one bad thing about this, well, not bad thing because we're going to fix it, but uh, if we go like this onto mobile where most of your customers are going to be, this will probably be disappeared. It'll not be there. And that's because it uh, hides them by default. So what we're going to do, I'll also have this in the description, copy and paste this section of code. So it's the checkout image. Uh, so you can basically, I'll put this in the description paste it into where it says theme options, custom code, and then custom CSS. What this does is basically bring that back the image when you're on mobile design. Click on save top right, and that's you pretty much good to go. It'll look just like it was there. A lot more intuitive for your customers to expect. It could be Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay, uh, and Google Pay. Anyway, any more information, put them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Cheers, guys.